All right, so today we're going to be looking at the PlayStation Pro release video that's been dropped on PlayStation Network on YouTube. And it says the 8 core CPU processor. Okay, so if that's not too bad. I mean, it's all right. Let's take a look. Complex gameplay with character counts reaching into the hundreds. The graphics and frame rates that can be as high as 120 Hi. frames okay, a second. Yep, yeah, that's that's cool. And you can see PS5 has a powerful RDNA2 GPU, so a which can render RDNA2 GPU. That's a graphics processor. So it looks like a radon, yeah. Anything from intricate Horizon. details to fantastic worlds with vast panoramas to explore. Ray tracing allows for dramatic visual improvements, including it does have ray tracing, just like a PC would have reflections off of water or glass, yes. and the realism that comes from real-time global illumination. I Cut. hope this is actual PS4 Pro gameplay, and not like a high-end PC that they're trying to get us with. You know, <laughs> system SSD can load data at breathtaking speed, resulting in ultra-fast transitions between game worlds. Yeah, that's pretty good. Smooth. And data streaming rates so high that traversal speed. speeds are essentially unlimited. You okay? I'm working on it. Tempest 3D Audio Tech brings an unparalleled no, sense of immersion to the audio. sound of the games. With audio so Sounds real, you may not even need to see the enemies to know exactly where they are. Finally, the DualSense controller has haptics that let you feel through your hands the what controller. your character is experiencing inside. Is it, wasn't the, the PlayStation 5 DualSense as well? It's wonderful to see such variety and richness of game experiences. Creators have made amazing use of the hardware capabilities, but when I talk to them, I do hear about their desire for more graphics performance. The dreams of the developers are bigger than can be supported at 60 frames per second, and that leads to an aspect of modern gaming that we're all familiar with. Graphics modes. So it's got a it graphics mode is high fidelity, performance and fidelity. You can switch between fidelity the two. modes. Emphasize the so visuals. This is fidelity mode. Higher resolution rendering. These modes might also have enhanced detail or use more ray tracing. All right. But the games only run at 30 I, I frames need, per second. Oh, 30 frames per the second. Visuals that it? choppier yeah, and the controls less responsive. Bad. Performance modes emphasize frame rate okay. and so interactivity, the, the typically choosing to run 60 frames per second. 60 frames per second. So that's a good increase. Double the increase. Now we're seeing by PS5 the and PS5 until those frame rates can be achieved. Ray tracing. Yeah, we can see the difference for sure. When asked to decide on the Just mode, a little bit more. players are choosing performance about three quarters okay. of the time. Removing that decision, or at least narrowing that divide, is one of the key targets for PlayStation 5 Pro. Promo video we want to give players better. the graphics that the game Let's creators still, aspire this to, information, so the high frame rates that players is. typically prefer. To do that, PS5 Pro substantially sure improves over PlayStation this, 5 in three ways. No Here's what we call the big three. First, we made the GPU much larger and increased the speed units. of the memory it uses. The result is RAM. rendering that's up to 45 45% faster. faster rendering. This has come from Sony, by the way. Second, we so made have to be major upgrades to the advanced ray tracing, ray tracing yes. taking a streamlined and accelerated yeah, like said, approach that allows really calculation of the rays at double or even triple the speeds of PlayStation 5. And finally, we added custom hardware for machine learning and an AI library called PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution, or PSSR for short. PSSR analyzes the game yeah, images pixel by really pixel really and can add an extraordinary amount catching, of detail, so. which boosts the effective hey, resolution the of the games. Just game creators cool. are adding PS5 Pro support to new and existing titles, and with the big three involved, the results can be pretty amazing with graphics showing something like fidelity levels of detail, but it doubled the frame rate. Here's The Last of Us Part Two running on PS5 Pro. It has it huge so amounts of detail PC, and targets man, a super smooth like, 60 frames like per second. Get, you know, that smoothness. Let's compare this to the, the fidelity difference. mode on PS5, which Definitely is only running at 30 frames per second, wow. and is therefore much choppier. Clearly see it, if you look closely. This goal of delivering almost fidelity-like graphics at performance frame rates has been achieved for Again, a broad look. set of titles, including Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Yeah, it's clearer. It's less and Ratchet clearer. and Clank Rift Apart. Yeah, for sure. Look we can that. see that PS5 Pro is close to... Right there. Yeah, you see how clear it is? 
on the right side versus the left. Lack of blur, like motion blur is taken out. Playing the power of PlayStation 5. Cool. Another way to compare the two consoles is to look at PS5 Pro versus performance mode on PS5, both of which target 60 frames per second. What we see here is a difference in detail. PS5 Pro yes, is much sharper and crisper see. than PS5. It's For like this, putting your glasses on, you know, when you have bad eyesight. You're like, whoa, now can you can see Distance details now. <laughs> are much clearer. Yeah, it's kind of like that. And here, we can see Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is noticeably higher resolution throughout the scene, including the trees and procedural cars. So overall, some remarkable it's improvement clear. to the game. The the On PS5 Pro, we can see increased sharpness to the graphics or smoother and more responsive gameplay. This so that justifies you paying an extra $200 premium As price or seeing, $100 price. Machine learning be, via the PSSR library is being used quite How much more is it going to be than a regular PS5? That's the frame question. Like but there know. are as many approaches as there are game engines. The increase in raw GPU is being GPU. especially effective yeah. for Horizon for the West. Apart too. from the detail boost, that extra graphics power is allowing yeah. for improvements to lighting and visual effects, as well as to the hair and the skin in cinematics. Open up, guys. Jorah's orders. Game's getting so lifelike right now. It's insane, isn't it? Ray tracing is finding will be able to tell the difference as well, between particularly the when the games are focused life. on higher frame so, rates. On the faster hardware in PS5 Pro can make a real difference. Allowing Gran Turismo 7 to add ray traced reflections between the cars in gameplay, but it makes, while continuing like, to support life like their target 60 frames life per second. Perfect, you know? That boost in ray tracing is also delivering big wins for Everyone Hogwarts Legacy. For that perfect. Allowing not only for better reflections and a greater variety of reflective life, surfaces, but also for further so realism in the casting of shadows. I hope you've enjoyed this run through of the technology behind PlayStation 5 yeah. Pro. Simply put, it's the most powerful console yeah, okay. we've ever built, That's and fine. a worthy addition to the PS5 family. Let me wrap this up.